Hi, I'm Nicholas Cook with Sleep Sound Property Management. Many of you are probably familiar with the ordinance on relocation for the city of Portland. However, they've made some amendments to it that you'll want to know about, so I'm going to cover that right now. So today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the amendments to Portland's relocation ordinance. This came from the Portland Housing Bureau, and they have a relocation ordinance technical advisory group. And so they've been looking at ways to modify this thing that started out as an emergency solution, which was supposed to sunset in October. But based on the way that the city is handling this, this doesn't look like it's going to sunset. Now, a couple of things that they changed. Uh, one thing that they clarified was that if your property is professionally managed, that doesn't create a problem for your exemption if you have just one unit, uh, which is important because it was not totally clear. So they wrapped that up, which was nice. Where the problem lies is they've made some big changes. So one is if you increase the rent at 10% or more, it automatically triggers the relocation ordinance and the resident has 45 days to notify the landlord that they want the relocation assistance. Now, the landlord then must provide that relocation assistance within 31 days, even if the tenant is not moving out yet. So 45 days notice is what the landlord has to get from the tenant and then the tenant has to, or the landlord has to turn around and pay that money in 31 days. Now, once the landlord's paid that money, the tenant then has six months, six months to live in the property and decide if they want to move or not. Now, within that six months, they're required to either uh, stay in the property and give you back the money, or there's decide they need to terminate the rental agreement and move out. However, what they didn't do is create any sort of penalty or clarity about what happens if the resident takes the money, doesn't pay it back, and doesn't give notice. So there are a couple problems with the amendments to the relocation assistance, as you can see here. Um, but these are the amendments that they made nonetheless. So I just wanted you to be aware of them. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and talk to us. We're always happy to go over these items.